sound for this. <laughs> Sergeant Pepper. Stop. Stinky boy. You stop. I don't want to do it. I do not want to do it. No, I don't. Would you choose? Hey guys, I'm Kaylin, and this is Templeton, our registered Nigerian dwarf buck. Templeton comes from amazing genetics, Old Mountain Farm, top and bottom. His sire, uh, in like Quinn, is the littermate brother to Old Mountain Farm Sunday Drive, who was a national champion, best utter doe. And Templeton's mom is a superior genetics champion doe with I believe four milk stars behind her, or four generations, I should say, sorry, milk stars behind her. Stop being a creep, stop. So today, today we're gonna be talking about how to get the very smelly smell of a buck off of your clothes. Now the best way to get it off your hands is to wash your hands in goat's milk soap. But clothes are a different story all together and I'm gonna be taking you in my laundry room Templeton, I'm going to be taking you in my laundry room and showing you how to get that smell off your clothes. So right now the bucks are coming out of rut and rut is a time period which refers to a mating season. Nigerian dwarfs are year round breeders. Some goat breeds are more seasonal but rut itself is a season in which the bucks are buckier and ruddier and stinkier. And what they do, if you're not familiar with it, it's quite disgusting, is they perfume themselves by urinating all over their face and legs and body as much as possible. And they urinate on each other and they mount each other. And basically that is supposed to be very attractive to the lady goats. So if you're handling your box, which you should be handling your box because you should still be doing regular maintenance on your box. A lot of people, don't handle their box because they stink really bad and they just want to avoid that smell and getting it on their clothes and on their hands and everything. Uh, and that's not good because then you're not taking as much care as you should be of your box. They still need care and maintenance too. And they also still need, you know, affection. Templeton here is a, actually a little sweetie boy and I do do a lot of pets with my box. So well, right now we just have Templeton, the other buck that you may have seen in some other videos, Mr. Stinky or Stinky Buck, we call him. He is a butcher buck. He was meant as a companion for Templeton. We couldn't get another companion animal for him. We wanted to get a weather as a companion or another breeding buck, and that didn't work out. Um, my friend Stacy, my goat mentor, had this buck who is not castrated, but is not breeding quality. He's got some genetic uh, deformity of the legs. His legs turn out, his feet turn out, and so, she had left him intact because he was a nice buck as a kid and he still has some really nice qualities about him. But as she noticed his feet starting to turn out, she decided he was not breeding quality and therefore um, was going to butcher him. So she offered him as a companion animal for me to take for Templeton until we got another buck. So we are getting another buck here soon. His name is Shady and you'll be seeing him soon. He's actually from my goat mentor, Stacy. So Shady will be coming here to be Templeton's companion, and then Stinky Buck will be butchered. So this is Uhtred's new morning routine. He's in the buck pen for a good portion of the day now. So this will be day number two of it being a longer stretch. So he gets to stay with the does for breakfast. He needs a privacy moment there. And I bring him in here. I put some straw underneath this platform where the bucks are and I did bring his food because he didn't have a huge appetite this morning. So I figured he'll get hungry running around all day. He's kind of doing his thing. He looks at everything, checks everything out, which is good. And that is guardian dog behavior. Kind of do a run around, do a prim- Ah! Leave it! Uhtred! Leave it! No. Leave it. Leave it! No! Good boy. Oh, well, Templeton's discovered his food, so that's not gonna stop. 
bucks don't need to be eating dog food. You don't want the stock your dog is supposed to be guarding to eat his food or have access to it because that's going to teach the dog to resource guard from the stock he's supposed to be guarding. And that's not good. Right? Thank you, boy. What you doing, little buddy? And you can see he's so calm around the bucks, which is funny because he's like wild around the does in the morning. But he gets a different vibe off the box. And so he's calm. And he'll run around. And if he gets rowdy with them, they will be rowdy right back. And so he is learning that he's going around the does when he's calm and settled. And if he gets wild, then he can't be around the does and he was wild this morning we're in the laundry room welcome to my laundry room slash half bath here's the four things that i use to wash my stinky buck clothes we've got just regular white distilled vinegar this is a laundry booster this is super washing soda you can also use borax and I'm looking, I want to buy this in bulk because I do use this a lot with my cloth diapers as well. And then I have, this is just my regular laundry detergent that I use. I try to use everything um, unscented, plant-based as much as possible and avoid chemicals. So this is just what I use. I don't use any fabric softener or dryer sheets, haven't in many years. You can use whatever you know, laundry soap you want to use. This is just what I use. And then you're also going to need goat's milk soap. Again, if you're washing your hands with goat's milk soap, that's going to take the buck smell off your hands for the most part. But as far as goat's milk soap in the wash, this is something I recently discovered. And this combination has been working amazing for taking out even the most um, disgusting, saturated buck smell out of my clothes. This is a goat's milk soap that I've been using for a lot of years now. It's an unscented, it's made by a company called Canis. And of course, when I have my dose in milk and I have my own goat's milk soap, I won't be buying this anymore. But I've been using this for a long time. My husband actually likes it. So this is what we use for everything. We don't use any scented soap, so goat's milk soap. Got my washing machine going. I set everything to hot, heavy, and two rinses. And I'm just gonna add these four ingredients now. What you're gonna do for the soap itself is shave it. Want to wash anything that comes into direct contact with a buck, like my neck warmer, I touch with my gloves. My hat, I probably touch with my gloves. There you have it. And come out smelling clean and fresh. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope that this is helpful to some of you who may be struggling to get the buck smell off of you or maybe wondering how it is that you do that. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you are interested in more Nigerian dwarf content or goat content, holistic care or natural care of goats, if you're interested in showing goats and milking goats, then I definitely recommend you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you get notified when I post new videos. Look at this adorable little frigid winter day chicken party I just walked in on. We've got some girls dust bathing over there in their mix of pine shavings, straw, and wood ash. And I just threw them a little cracked horn as a way to keep them busy. I need to bring out my chicken bowl. I forgot it. 
Everyone looks pretty happy actually for the fact that it's like so cold.